Hello there, this is John the Gamer, also known as John. If you couldn't figure that out, that's my given name. I'm here today to do a Let's Play of Pokemon Channel for the GameCube. Uh, I grew up playing Pokemon. I, probably one of my favorite video game franchises. Uh, they got me hooked when I was young, and that's the way to do it. I know with uh, Pokemon X and Y's announcement and eventual release, that got me kind of back into Pokemon in a big way. Instead of playing Pokemon X or Y, which seemed like that would be the logical thing to do, I started playing the Game Boy Advance games because they were the oldest games that you can extract the Pokemon up into the newest games, X and Y, and soon to be the remakes of Ruby and Sapphire. Well, with this Pokemon kick I've been on, I purchased Pokemon Channel, a game I've never played, and from my knowledge, I don't know if you could really consider it a game. I think there are a slight few interactive elements, but I think it mostly consists of watching the television show. Uh, I picked this up from Tabor, who runs all your base inside PJ Gamers at Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Cool little independent game store, land center, cool place to play, Dungeons, Dragons, board games, anything gaming related. But anyways, let's uh, fire up Pokemon Channel and check this out. I should mention that I have played the about 20 minutes of this prior, so I know loosely what we're going to get into in this Let's Play, but I figured I haven't watched this one episode enough, or part of an episode, as it were. This belongs to Seth. Now, as I mentioned at the top of this, my name is John. You can call me John the Gamer, or just John. My name is not Seth. I just chose the default name because, you know what? I don't really care about Pokemon Channel. I don't think I will care. Who knows though, maybe we'll see after this extended look. Maybe I'll really get a kick out of it and want to continue playing it. That is also the incorrect time. It's actually May 25th. And it's not that late just yet, but... Yeah, I'll go ahead and correct this. Or not. That was... A misleading prompt, to say the least. So, I guess we're going with that. Today's the 10th. As far as Pokemon Channel is concerned. Alright, so this game was developed by Genius Sonority. They are probably most known for doing the Pokemon Coliseum games on the GameCube. Pokemon Coliseum, Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, as well as Pokemon Battle Revolution for the Wii, kind of the stadium-style games in the more modern platforms, more modern Nintendo home consoles. I'm not sure what they've done as of late. I want to say maybe the newest Pokemon Troze game for the 3DS. Uh, fairly recently, last couple of months, I played through Pokemon Coliseum, Pokemon XD on the GameCube. Uh, Coliseum I played back in the day and didn't really jive with, just because... It was a departure from the series that I was really just wanting the same old thing. I didn't enjoy it whenever I played it back in high school. I actually pretty enjoyed it pretty well this time. Just kind of taking it for what it is and taking it for the departure that it is. Kind of a different team's vision of the Pokemon series. Kind of refreshing. XD Gale of Darkness, its sequel, I thought was way too similar to it. It took place in the same region, and many of the same locations and towns were the same. There's a few additions, but it seemed la more lackluster, and Pokemon Coliseum was pretty lackluster to begin with. Uh, let's see, Professor Oak, good old Professor Oak. Pokemon Channel is a TV station that airs many kinds of Pokemon programs. You've been chosen as our first test audience. We'll just stick with Seth. First program is the brand new anime Pichu Brothers. If you, I'd like you to watch the TV anime all the way through. Let's meet after the anime. Take a look at the back of this box. Professor Oak needs your help. I 
like you said, broadcasting network. Airs a variety of Pokemon programs. He selected you as the initial test audience. Trying to make it the highest rated channel on your TV. What better way for a young kid to serve his corporate overlords than to watch a Pokemon TV show? Just try and guess the next place they'll turn up at. Then again, isn't that what uh, Nintendo's whole thing is with the Pokemon franchise? Like I said earlier, they got me. I was never a big fan of the TV show, honestly. Whenever I was in grade school and it first came out, I, and Pokemon was all the rage, everybody played Pokemon, everybody talked Pokemon. I did watch the TV show, enjoyed it, but I just grew out of it very fast. So, I've downloaded a Pokemon TV app for the, my tablet on Android. I actually watched an episode last night, and just going back and seeing just how many episodes there are, it's mind-boggling. It's something they just never stop. Like, you know, here in the game realm, we think, well, they never stop making Pokemon games, but the core Pokemon games come out every other year, maybe a year in between them, with a lot of smaller spin-offs in between, but... I mean, the TV show, you gotta think, did they just have, they had just had, like, a new episode every week for 10 years, 12, 15 years? How long has it been? Nearly 20 years, almost. There's so many. It's, of course, it's not a weekly TV show, as far as I know. I'm sure they take breaks. But this is just kind of one part of the Pokemon franchise, Pokemon Mega Lord that I just never, uh, Caught on to too much. Well, it seems like the Pichu brothers and their friends. Now I do remember that announcer. Day of fun at their Pokemon Clubhouse. That narrator, that voice is familiar. Uh oh, sounds like Smoochum's got a problem. And this came out during the third generation, for the uninitiated third generation, where the the dawn of the Game Boy Advance games, Ruby and Sapphire, Emerald. So this has Pokemon from the original, red, blue, yellow, second generation, gold, silver, crystal, and third generation, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. This sounds very interesting. So the other Pokemon want to see for themselves. Oh, it's Pichu Brothers in Party Panic. This is an all-new animation exclusive for this game. So back in 2003, whenever you were ate up with Pokemon, you bought Pokemon Channel. You got an exclusive episode. And also, it looks like this included three e-reader cards, which I did not get in my copy. My copy didn't even have the manual. I usually don't do that, but it was a good deal, so I figured I'd pick it up. Wonder what those e-reader cards did. Man, that was around for a minute, wasn't it? The e-reader. I had a blast with the e-reader playing Animal Crossing. Plus, being a Nintendo junkie as I was at that time, had the Game Boy Advance hookup, the e-reader, hooked that up to the GameCube, had a ton of fun with Animal Crossing. And uh, I didn't really play a lot of NES games on the e-reader, because NES games they had on there were like Urban Champion and Excitebike. Not that Excitebike's bad, not trying to lump that in with Urban Champion in a negative way, just... You can play Excite Fight for about 10 minutes and feel like you've gotten enough of it to be satisfied. Look like fruits. Oh yeah, Teddy Ursa knows what's up. Maybe this is some sort of Pac-Man tie-in. Nintendo and Namco working together. To do with fruit, but they work together on Star Fox Assault. Why could they not work together on Pokemon Channel? Looks like a clock, I don't know. Zubat. Probably 
They're one of the few Pokemon I can recognize by their cries. Just because I've encountered so many of them since I was a kid. What did you think about the anime? Okay, so after I watch this, I gotta file a report. Also change channels using the controller. The report channel. So I don't actually get to uh, grade what I saw or anything. This is just the means they use to save the game. Filing a report. Day 20... 20p. If you save up some p, you will be able to shop for all sorts of things on the shopping channel. Quiz channels as well. And make sure to save or file a report. Okay, if I turn off the TV, how is he still talking to me? Is he talking to me on the cell phone or something? Why did my mom allow me to talk to this stranger on my cell phone? Maybe, does, she, does my mom know about this guy? Okay, so this kind of got a user interface like a point and click adventure game. Got a little sun current over here. Wonder if it's a plant. Maybe a vase. Maybe it's really a sun current. Hey, there's Pikachu, Torchic, and Trico. Going out to the yard. It's a Pikachu. So can I capture it? Can I give it a nickname? Okay, now I got this Pikachu with me. Let's watch some more TV. Because after all, what a Pokemon like more than a battling, fighting each other, watching TV. Got a Pokepad, which you access a variety of information. Not a Pokedex, but a Pokepad. Log shows. Yeah, so instead of a. Uh, yeah, we included this uh, exclusive episode and we broke it up into parts. So you're gonna watch it like three minutes at a time. Oh man. I can get more. I can get better TVs. I wonder if they got a. Wish they had a 4K in here. I know they don't, considering when this game came out, but... Never know. Programs other than the anime have started. Alright, let's see what the rest... Let's see what this game's like. The News Channel. Pokemon News Flash. Got a side duck. One, why is Team Rocket's Meowth doing interviews? Because he's the only one that speaks English? I, is that really what Psyduck's saying? For real? Surprised his migraines aren't getting to him on air. Let's hope they don't get stomach aches from overeating. 
Uh, is that, uh, I hear Pikachu in the background. So I wonder if, uh, I'm guessing, okay, you gotta think, Pokemon Channel, the TV broadcasting network, is it, does it appeal to the youth? Is it only, like, the, the kiddos? Or is this what the adults watch too? Do they don't, the Psyduck, is Psyduck their wolf blitzer? Is this how news gets reported in the world of Pokemon? Do Pokemon just do everything for us in the world of Pokemon? We already use them for labor-related things. We use them to battle. That's kind of just for our fun. No? Shopping network. I like the load screens, the drawings of the Pokemon. That little hoot hoot. I got another news flash. Secret relaxation tick. Yeah, so this game was obviously skewed pretty young. I think in Europe, people who purchased it were able to get a Jirachi transferred into their Ruby, Sapphire, maybe even Emerald Game Boy Advance games. I know here in the States, if we pre-ordered Pokemon Coliseum, we got a bonus disc that allowed us to transfer Jirachi into the third gen games. Except for Emerald. It hadn't been out. It hadn't released yet. This was how they got it in Europe. That's I mean, that's real dastardly. Pokemon Coliseum, at least it's a it's a game. You know, it's like a it's like a 30 hour RPG. Just standard. Fifth gen, fourth generation, third generation, something like that. JRPG. Pokemon Channel. Ugh. If you paid 50 bucks just to get to Jirachi, I'm, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not that diehard. Just got some commercials playing. Mining. Never used mining that much, nor plusle. Got another news flash. Wonder if I guess this stuff just plays. I wonder if any of this stuff's gonna repeat. Okay, he's back on the Mount Snowfall. See if he's gonna interview that Kecleon again. No, Jigglypuff's still something new. Okay, though. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to turn it off. I, just, I was just done with that. Shocking quality of Mareep School. Okay, I think we've seen enough of the Pokemon News Flash. Let's check out Shopping Channel. Shopping with Spencer the Squirtle. Got a Zatu running the cameras. Squirtle, 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 Squirt
foes. How much is it? Ten. Ten peas. Nice card. Pokemon nice cards. Huh. I know what nice cards are. Uh, I think I'll hold off. Might be something, be something better come along. Smooch him. Shape up. Fitness. Oh, Pikachu became startled and fled. Pikachu's acting cautious. Back, Pikachu. Yeah, he'll come back. High kick. Seems like about to get like a Hitmon Lee to be doing this. Hitmon Lee's got an attack called High Jump Kick. Plus, you can imagine Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chan, even Hitmon Top. Be pretty physical. Just even having any fighting Pokemon doing exercise channel. Oh, Pikachu's getting with it. Nice. Got a couple of those exercises in. Oh, man. Oh, man. Crobat. Crobat strikes. What Pokemon is inside? I don't know, Pikachu, let's find out. It wants to watch Quiz Wobbuffet. Alright. And that's a fitting load screen. It's got Wobbuffet there. Pikachu seems to want to watch Quiz Wobbuffet. What's up with Wobbuffet's tail? Take a look at that thing. Is that real? Is that a real living creature? Wait a minute, what? Do I, uh, do I, have, I guess I have to change it. Okay, yeah. Pikachu is happy. That was just a commercial. A load screen. Is its tail acting as a microphone? Here are our contestants. We've got a Smoochum. We've got a Fan P. And a Cyndaquil. Silhouette, that's a Meryl. Could be an Az... Azumeryl, Azumeryl. Was. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's Azumeryl, look at the ears. Man, Pokemon. Pronunciation of Pokemon names. Since I never watched the TV show, I would converse a lot with friends and stuff like that. It was always kind of... I always kind of wondered, like, am I pronouncing this Pokemon's name correct? I always pronounce that Azum, Azumeral. But, I don't know, something just like, since I've been playing so much recently, just something just kicked in me. It's like, it's probably Azumeril. Uh, it's a coughing? Oh my gosh, you guessed before the veil was lifted. What? No way. If Cyndaquil wins, this game's rigged. Veil had not even lifted. But yeah, pronouncing people's name or pronouncing Pokemon's names, it reminds me reminds me of being a kid and collecting baseball cards. Looks like Starmie. Yeah, Starmie. 
pronouncing people's, uh, pronouncing, collecting baseball cards, pronouncing the last names of baseball players. I remember sitting outside, waiting for my mom to pick me up in grade school, talking about baseball players with somebody else, someone in, like, a grade or two higher than me. Just him saying, no, this is how you pronounce that guy's name. Yeah, and this is how you pronounce this guy's name. Very enlightening. Sort of like learning how to pronounce a zoom rule correctly. Maybe that Cyndaquil didn't, didn't cheat to get that coughing. I just wasn't really paying attention to the screen to see what it was like. Come on, Pikachu, get out of there. Can't see what's going on. Oh man, that's Pidgey. These ones, those two are fake. Oh wow, I could partake? What? Oh, was that for me? Let's see if I approach if I actually get a guess. Whooper. No, it's Whooper, not Fanpy. No, he said... Guys, he said Fanpy. Match that cry. This would be tough. I take that back. Okay, so whenever he guessed, whenever the Cyndaquil guessed coughing, was that a match a cry quiz? Guys, the Pokemon is saying its name. No, it's Psyduck, not Bambi. It's one thing I never really cared for in the TV show. They all just pronounced all the all the noises they emitted were pretty much just their name. Wobbuffet, it, wobbuffet, it, wobbuffet. It. What did you? What are you saying? You're saying wobbuffet. You're not. You're not saying something else. Meow. That's the only other one that made sense. Since he just spoke English. Oh, it's all even. Nope, it's Meowth, not Cyndaquil. See, and there you go, that one was even speaking. Okay. What? Something for me. Thorchick. Because it says its name. That's a lot. Considering I only got 20 for watching the first couple minutes of the anime. Alright. Got a beautify. The third gen Pokemon, third gen Butterfree, third gen Butterfree clone. Oh man. Let's go to the shopping channel. Pikachu seems very susceptible to advertising. What you got, Squirtle? What you got, Spencer? Still got the binder? Alright. It was 10p last time. And it came with some nice cards. Immediate delivery. I like it. It's like the Amazon Prime. The Pokemon World. I think I'm going to have to strike this time. Now that I got 120p, I got some... I got some money to burn. And it still comes with a nice card pack. Yeah, let's buy it. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Charmander doll. I'm gonna have to get that. Square. 
What does a customer have to say? Oh yeah, Charmander thinks it's extremely cute. No, no duh. 17? I paid 10 for a binder. I'm definitely playing 17 for that poke. That Charmander doll, even if it doesn't tell oh, 10 a.m. tomorrow. I'll still buy it. Yeah, Pikachu, you're making me spend my money. Oh, dang it, it's another doll! Take with doll. It's not gonna be something to put on the bed, but since it's got a flat bottom, it's definitely something to display. It's easily be put on the shelf. Oh, let me guess, what does Diglett have to say? Very well made. Listen, Diglett knows his stuff. I know you don't think Diglett knows a quality doll from a quality doll, but Diglett knows a quality doll. What was that? Deli bird. Let's turn that thing off and let's check this out. Let's check out my binder. Hitmonlee motion card was stored in the binder. Duskull single card. Clefairy. Caterpie. Magikarp. Alright. Put the free gift in that binder. Yeah, that is... Hey, wait a minute, you think they did that on purpose? Nice cards are very nice trading cards. And are the in thing right now. Collect a lot of nice cards, it'll give me a reward. Get 25 different Pokemon. Yeah, let's check out my nice cards. So I'm guessing this little sh bookshelf here, this little table is where I'm going to display all the stuff I purchase. Caterpie. Get that Clefairy. Hitmonlee. Oh, cool, holographic. up here. Mintail. Town map. So it looks like I'll be able to go outside at some point. Pikachu noticed the trash can. Nothing worthwhile. Bus stop. Great song by the Hollies. It wants to keep watching TV. Ugh. I guess we'll keep watching TV, Pikachu. Oh. Right, yeah, go check that out. Let's turn on the TV. Is there anything we haven't watched yet? I haven't watched that. Do Pikachu. You wanna watch something? You wanted to keep watching TV, what'd you wanna watch? <laughs> he 
Yeah, I can't go through the TV. Ah. No fan pee. Silhouette quiz. Carapy. Could it be a Snorlax? Pidgey? I can't tell very well. I think it's a Pidgey. Oh man, some cool. Really stepping out front. If I'm not mistaken, though, that's kind of what Spoochum did last time, and it ended in a three way draw. So this is where I can take part. Who is it, guys? Come on, help me out. That's a Yanma. Yeah, yeah. Oh, All right, the DP. Espeon. Scrub him. Oh man, did Cynical just win it? Oh shoot. Cynical won it. Oh, let's see. Got another thing. User interactive thing. That's an electrode, isn't it? Oh no, that's a Voltorb, maybe. I think that's Voltorb. I think Voltorb has an angry face. Electrode has a happy face. Maybe, maybe not a happy face, but a maniacal face. He doesn't have an angry face. Bigly buff. That was creepy. Gotcha, pseudo wudo. Still remember the first time I encountered pseudo wudo in gold. Back in the day. It's like, man, why is this grass Pokemon so hard to kill, so hard to capture? Oh, because it's a rock Pokemon. Alright, how do we get new anime? Just, what do we gotta do? What do we gotta do, Professor Oak? I'm gonna send in a report. Give me new anime. Hmm. Oh yeah, I better give me a new anime. Smeargle doll. Magnemite. 
No, Smeargle 2. You will be able to paint images taken off your TV. Your artwork will be automatically submitted. Automatically displayed as a poster. To do it to the same same intro that I've already seen. Yeah, we'll go a little bit longer. Oh jeez. Uh, you know what? I see what it's doing. Do I back out? Yeah, let's uh okay, so that's what that was for. Untitled. Let's see what we're doing here. Let's see what we're doing here. Let's get further into the episode so I can actually paint something. Just try and guess the next place they'll turn up. Yeah, that seems kind of a scattershot way. Like, you want to stop it on the frame you want to paint, but by the time you actually hit it, it looks like it may be a couple frames past. I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to find something negative. How do I change the color? There we go. Oh, yeah. Not a lot of options here. How do you want to paint, or what colors do you want to paint? It's kind of interesting, I guess. I mean, you can't. Looks like you probably can't save more than one. And it's not like you could export this stuff to an SD card or anything back in the day. I guess if you had like a third party one. I know. I remember there being a third party. Man, I don't want to paint the whole thing, honestly. I don't want to paint all that pink. Just maybe... Yeah, I guess it is all interconnected, though, so... The thing I don't get is this window right here. But yeah, I do seem to recall there being a third party... Let me stop there real quick and finish what I was saying before I make a comment on that. I do seem to remember there being a third party SD memory card... adapter for the GameCube. And now back to this noise. Some of the team at Chinya Sonority just fart into the mic? Like, what is that? Come on. Okay, well, yeah, I guess I was filling. That's why I was getting all this stuff. Maybe not just a little bit. work for Phil, but I can do what I draw. Oh yeah, it's much better than my first one. Oh, an auction untitled? I, I don't want to sit too high on my horse, but I think untitled one is going to go for a fair sum of money. Oh, I was gonna say there's like no sound anymore. No, I guess there's just no sound. I don't know what's up. Okay, so I've watched all this stuff. I haven't gotten a new episode of the anime yet. Ostensibly, that's like the only reason you would play this game. I guess let's, let's file another report real quick. Still got three channels to unlock. Scheduled to begin tomorrow.
wonder if sound is completely gone or if maybe it's just my headphones and laptop. Maybe the capture software? Hopefully it's not the game. I'm hoping whenever I check this uh, video, there's going to be sound to it at this point forward. He just had to jinx that Pikachu, Professor Oak. It's going to get into mischief, so I'm surprised he hasn't yet. That's so great. Pikachu probably thought, whoa, that's what I'm supposed to be doing? Let me zap that TV. Oh, God. Replacement TV looks like it's from the 70s. It'll have to do. There's Mudkip. Joining the Torchic and Trico. The retro TV, check out those dials. Oh no, it's black and white. This TV might not be from the 70s, this TV might be from the 50s. This TV in full with the controls. Eh. I think I've seen enough. It looks like a lot of the content's probably going to be gated by actually uh, playing on consecutive days. Maybe just you know play, you know spend a, like ten, spend like ten to thirty minutes with it one day, unlock content that'll appear next day, rinse, repeat, do the same thing over and over until you know, you've gotten all you can do out of it. I imagine there's not a whole lot of content to this game or interactive entertainment or thing you bought from Nintendo that said Pokemon on it because it said Pokemon on it or if you're in Europe because it came with Jirachi but I don't I'm not going to wait around to see what additional content pops up I think I'm pretty satisfied with what I've seen I don't think there's going to be much more to entice me it doesn't seem like a very enticing game in the first place just kind of very passively sitting around and watching Pikachu do something you know, I can dig games that have this sort of structure I'm a huge fan of Seaman on the Dreamcast that sort of gated structure where you spend 10 to 30 minutes with them each day, kind of talking with them or watching them develop and, ev and evolve. And then that's all. That's it for today. Come back tomorrow. He's, he's too tired now. That sort of stuff can be used really well. Uh, this, just, oh, this just seems really young. Aimed at a young audience. And not really what I'm looking for out of a Pokemon game. Uh, just not very enticing. But that is Pokemon Channel for the GameCube, or at least the first little bit of it. Say goodbye to Pikachu here. I hope, I do hope this sound did not completely just fade out in this last uh, five, ten minutes of this video. That wouldn't be very good. At the very least, you'd have my voice. Which, you know, that's, that's something. Anyways, my name was John the Gamer. AKA John, uh, and hopefully I will continue doing some more of these and continue having you come around and watch them. I uh, thank you. Bye bye.